Hello everyone, Wyatt Tomlin here. I want to thank you for joining me here today on my YouTube channel. I have some major breaking news to report and discuss with all of you today. The leader of Project 2025, which is Donald Trump's draconian and despotic 900 plus page plan to provide full power to himself if elected and take our country in a backwards direction, has admitted in a newly unearthed and uncovered video that Donald Trump is in fact inextricably tied with his deeply unpopular Project 2025 agenda. The leader said himself that Trump has been to their organization numerous times and even raised money for it. This of course comes after Donald Trump posted on Truth Social that he knows absolutely nothing about Project 2025 or who is behind it. And even conservatives know that this is not true. The leader of Project 2025 has said himself that he does not worry at all about Donald Trump not instituting Project 2025 if elected. Take a look at this leaked clip. Donald Trump has lied directly to the American people once again. I expect you to hear 10 more times from the rally, the president, you know, distancing himself from the left's boogeyman of Project 2025. Yeah. Um, and you're not worried about that? I'm not worried about it. Okay. He's running against the brand. He is not running against any people. Okay. Uh, he is not running against uh, any institutions. It's interesting, he's in fact not even opposing himself to a particular policy. Yeah. He's been at our organization, he's raised money for our organization, he's blessed it from the, you know, I remember walking into our last day in office and told him what I was going to do. So he's very supportive of what we do. I think the president has actually come up with a, a strategy that works so long as you are giving people like me in the government the ability to, to block funding for Planned Parenthood, block funding for fetal tissue research. The, what I've told people is he had the most pro-life record ever. I've never seen him take it to stand in the way of a pro-life initiative yeah. that actually was real yeah. politically and with momentum. So I am very happy with the JD pick. I, I think it's transformative for sure. Yeah. Um, and he's, you know, he think of him as a member version of what we do. Yeah. So there's no think tank, no policy organization, no battle plan creator other than us for the worldview that I think Donald Trump has and that uh, JD has. The best example is like the campaign selected me to be the platform uh, because of their, their views on my policy ideas and they're not running from all of the negativity that I get from the press. I see. So they haven't been spooked on you as a person, you don't think? No, I mean, I, I, no. I, I don't think I'm going to be their transition pick because okay. then they have all these kinds of stories. Yeah. But no, the relationship is great. The head of the Trump transition team has not yet been appointed. But Vote says that no matter who is named, he'll be able to hand over his Project 2025 battle plans directly. If it's someone like Stephen Miller or Bob Lighthizer, then all the stuff gets uh, plugged right in. If it's not, we'll figure it out. Okay. But but all of it will be designed for a theory of the case that President, if 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 a battle plan is out there that will do what he wants, there are the people like me that have his trust that will will be able to get it to him okay. uh, in whatever position we're at. Or I could be at Center for New America, but. The relationships will be there, uh, the trust level will be there. And are you going to like rebrand that second phase at all? For what I do, yeah. it, the brand's not important. And you're not worried that if it has Project 2025 on, he's going to go like... No. Go like, and, and you're not going to publish those? No. No. They go straight to... Yeah, they're very, very close hold. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's been an education. Appreciate it. Thank you for yeah, time. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anytime. Thank you very much. You can show us that. Wow. So that's really revealing and informative about what we know about Project 2025 now and Trump's ties to it. Now, many polls and surveys conducted have very clearly made evident that the, this blueprint for a MAGA-controlled regime is feared by the American public and is despised by the significant majority of voters. So the Trump campaign immediately began to distance themselves from this plan. But it is not flying by with Americans. This plan would ban abortion nationwide with no exceptions for rape and incest, as if Trump's Supreme Court overturning of Roe versus Wade that has led to abortion bans being put in place in one third of states wasn't abysmal enough. 
It would also restrict IVF access, reinstate the Muslim travel ban. This would repeal the Affordable Care Act, which has over 21 million Americans that rely on it for their health care and offers protections for Americans with pre-existing conditions. It gives huge tax cuts to the ultra-wealthy while hiking taxes on middle-class working families. It would replace civil servants with MAGA loyalists with complete fealty to Donald Trump. This would reverse the law that has capped the cost of insulin and prescription drug prices. It would end all student loan forgiveness that has erased debt for millions of college goers and provided a ladder to the middle class. Project 2025 would oppose and reverse common sense gun control safety laws, including background checks. It would cut Social Security and Medicare. It would reverse the FDA's approval of the abortion medication pill. It would replace climate advisors with fossil fuel lobbyists, which would completely torpedo the environment and eliminate all the action that we've done to combat climate change. It would separate migrant children from their families at the southern border. It would literally send the military after any anti-Trump peaceful protest or any protest that he doesn't like. It would dismantle established protections for workers. It would reverse federal investments that have made our country thrive. It would reinstate Trump's ban on transgenders in the military and expel current service members. Oh, and it would abolish the Department of Education. And this is really just the tiny tip of the iceberg. Like I said, this is a 900 plus page extremist manifesto handbook that would strip us of our freedoms, undermine our democracy, and the very right to vote, and would overall be detrimental for our country's future. Don't let Donald Trump being disingenuous about this fool you. If you want to inspect Project 2025 to the fullest extent yourself and read everything that it contains, then you can head straight over to their very own website, project2025.org. Please do your research. Google is free. The internet is free. Use it to educate yourself about what is on the ballot ahead of this November election. And truly what a mess we will be in if Donald Trump wins the presidency this November. And get out the vote for Kamala Harris.